Hey, what's up, guys? It is Card Shuffler 99 here, and today we are going to be showing you guys the card trick that actually fooled the president of the United States. Now, this is not Donald Trump. We're talking about George W. Bush. Uh, David Blaine performed a card trick to him uh, on his TV special, Real or Magic. So we are going to be revealing that trick for you guys today. And not only that, we are going to be showing you guys three different versions of the same trick. All of these are slightly different. Uh, so we're going to show you all of those and I hope you guys enjoy the video. Anyway, uh, be sure to hit that subscribe button. And we also have a secondary channel called CS Reviews. Please check that out. Uh, we'll put a link down in the description. Uh, it's going to be our product review channel. We are trying to get some subs on there. So be sure to go subscribe to that channel. And anyway, let's get straight into the... We'll sort of perform and then reveal all three different versions. Um, and also, we're going to put a link in the description to the original performance of this video. Okay, anyway, let's get started here. So, Robert, what I have here is the Ace of Spades. What I want you to do for me is you're going to go ahead and pinch onto that Ace of Spades, okay? So, go ahead, do that now, and make sure that is the Ace of Spades. I didn't switch it out, correct? We're good. Perfect. So, Robert, this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to take here the Ace of Clubs. Now, watch carefully. I'm going to take the Ace of Clubs here, and all I'm going to do here is I'm going to switch the Ace of Spades with the Ace of Clubs. So that means that I have what card, Robert? The Ace of Spades. I have the Ace of Spades right here. So, Robert, if I take the Ace of Spades and I place the Ace of Spades right here and the Ace of Clubs there, I'm going to try something really quick. I'm going to do a little motion just like that. Now, your job is to tell me whether or not I switch the cards, right? So what card is this? That's the Ace of Spades. And that's the Ace of Clubs. Yeah. Are you ready? Three, two, just like that. Robert, tell me. If you think I switched the cards, that's fine, but tell me which card... Is the Ace of Clubs, and which card is the Ace of Spades? That's definitely the Ace of Spades. That's the Ace of Clubs. Uh, all right. Go ahead, turn the cards over, and you can reveal that you're actually wrong. So, let's get straight into the tutorial for this, guys. Uh, it's a pretty easy routine here. All you're going to need is two Aces and two Queens. Now, he did perform um, some other tricks uh, to the President. Um, I believe he did... Uh, like a watch routine where he basically took his watch off. If you guys actually want to learn how that's done, uh, that is a very popular thing on the street. So we can definitely uh, teach that to you guys sometime soon. Uh, just feel free to comment that down below. And we'll definitely teach you guys how to do that. But for now, we're going to focus on the two car money today. And once again, we're showing you guys three different ways to do it. So this is how you're going to set it up. Uh, you're going to need two queens and two aces. Okay, so in this case, I like to use contrasting colors here. Uh, you could obviously use aces and kings. I believe that is what he did in his performance, but you can use any cards here. It, I just believe that aces uh, work really well. And also, I mean, obviously you could do kings if you really wanted to. Uh, but anyway, this is how you're going to start the trick off. You're going to go ace, queen, queen, and then ace. So that's going to be your setup for this trick. Okay, so once again, you're going to have ace, queen, queen, ace, okay? And that's how you're going to start the trick out. And anyway, you're going to start with this on the top of the deck. And what you're going to do is you're going to start out by taking the top ace, doesn't matter what ace this is, in this case the ace of spades, and you're going to tell your spectator to pinch onto this ace of spades. And that's just going to be with their uh, thumb and their index finger. They're just going to be pinching onto that card. In the meantime, what you're going to do is you can uh, riffle down the back of the cards and you're actually trying to get a break under three cards. Okay, so you're going to try to get a pinky break under three cards, just because these three cards are going to bring you to the second ace, okay? So now you have the second ace here. Once again, you're trying to get your pinky break there. So you can flip it over. You can show that you have the ace of clubs. So obviously, you got the ace of spades and the ace of clubs. So this is where the first switch is going to happen. You're going to take this supposedly the ace of clubs. It's actually a queen. You're going to say, all right, here, what I'm going to switch these out. So now I have the ace of spades and you have the ace of clubs, right? And they're going to be like, okay. And all you have to do here to switch, uh, to basically do your like little switcheroo here, you're actually going to just do a top change, okay? So once again, we already have a queen here. So let me go run through this one more time. So ace, queen, queen, ace. Start with the first ace. Say, all right, check it out. We got the ace right here. Pinch onto that. You're going to grab a break under three cards. Pinky break. You're going to flip it over. Reveal the second ace. Say, I'm going to take the ace of clubs. You're going to switch those cards out. So you have the Ace of Clubs, I have the Ace of Spades. What I'm going to do in a second is I'm going to actually switch the cards out really quick, okay? And whenever that is, it doesn't really matter when you're going to do it, but you're just going to say, well, I'm going to switch out the cards really quick, and you're going to tell me um, whether I switch the cards out or not, okay? So that's, that's going to be the big part. So what you're going to do here, it doesn't matter when you actually switch the cards for the top change, 
But what you're going to do here is you can either do your jab and then your top change, or you can uh, do your top change and then your jab. Now, I personally prefer doing the top change first. The reason being is because at the time you're still talking, right? So that buys you time to actually do your top change. And also, after you do the jab, there's a lot of attention on the card. So sometimes the spectator might be looking at your hands doing your top change, and that might be problematic. So obviously, after you do your first switch and you say, so I got the ace of spades here, right? You can quickly do a top change as you're talking. And as you do that top change, now you can jab and all the cards can stay in play and be the entire time after that. And just like that, you can show the two queens. Okay, guys. All right, guys, so let's get into the second version here of the two card money. So, Robert, I have two aces here. We got the ace of spades and we got the ace of clubs. What I'm going to do here is I'm going to play around with these aces, so I need you to pay attention, okay? We're going to start out here with the ace of spades, Robert. I'm going to take the ace of spades here. Now, watch very carefully here as I take the ace of spades and I put that face down. If I mix up the cards here, it's easy to tell which one's the ace of spades and which is the ace of clubs. Obviously, you can go ahead and tell me right now which is which. I'm pretty sure that's the ace of clubs and that's the ace of spades. That's ace of clubs, that's ace of spades. Yeah, okay, that would make sense, right? Because obviously one is face up and one's face down. But we can eliminate that problem by taking both cards, both aces, and turning them face down. Now, Robert, do you know which one's the ace of clubs and which one's the ace of spades? Ace of clubs, ace of spades. Robert, watch carefully. I'm going to take the cards. I'm going to give them a little mix. This is going to get, this is going to get tough. This is going to get really tough. I'll tell you that right now. Let's do a little bit of circular action here. Now, Robert, go ahead. Which one is the Ace of Clubs and which one is the Ace of Spades? Uh, ace of Clubs, Ace of Spades. Well, you see here, was that just like a guess, 50-50? Yeah. Well, you see here. Oh, my gosh. You were actually 100% wrong. All right, guys. That is the second version, and let's get into how this one's done. So once again, two queens, two aces. Very simple. Very simple start. All you're going to do for this version of the two card money is you're going to start out with the two aces on the table. You're going to take one queen, you're going to put that face up, you're going to get a pinky break there, and you're going to take the other one, and you're going to sandwich that so they're like, you know, kissing or something. So you got the two queens just like that. They're set up just like that, face to face. Remember that. Very important. Now that you're good, uh, what you're going to do is you're going to start out with the two aces on the table, or you can start it, uh, with the aces on the, uh, on the deck. It doesn't really matter how you start. But you're gonna start here and you're gonna talk, take one ace here, turn it face up onto the three card pile with your break. You're going to flip that over. Now, you can't just peel off because you're going to have a card here, okay? So you're going to need to do a wrist kill. Just like that. Do a wrist kill, okay? And now what you're going to do is you can go ahead and explain that if you mix these up, obviously there's one face up and one's face down, so it's really easy to know. In the meantime, I'm going to grab a pinky break under the other queen. Take the face up card, put that on top, say, check it out. We can eliminate that problem by taking the second ace. Now, obviously, there's no more wrist kills or anything like that. And these are both queens, so you can go ahead, you can mix this up all you want. They can do their guessing, but they will be wrong every single time. All right, guys, to the final version now of the two card money. And this one is actually considered the original two card money. So it's slightly different here. Robert, are you ready for this? Yes. We have two cards here, Robert. In this case, we're going to be using the red three, and we got the uh, the black two. Okay, the red three and the black two. What I'm going to do here, Robert, is I'm going to take one of the cards. I'm going to put that behind my back. Okay, Robert, which card did I put behind my back? Uh, three. The three of hearts, right? Yeah. Well, you see here, you're actually wrong, because I actually put the two, and the three is right there. All right, guys, so that is the... The third version of the two card money, supposedly, and this is actually the original two card money. Uh, this is not David Blaine, uh, David Blaine's version. This is actually the original. All you're going to need is a double facer and a double backer. That's very, very simple here. And this is going to apply to a pretty popular um, idea that basically, if you have a double facer and a double backer, and you go like this, it looks like you have two cards, obviously, because if you have one face down, one face up, you know, it should always be one face up, one face down. So having a double face and double backer works well. So all I do here, if I start the cards like this and I basically push over as I turn my hand over, it looks like I have two separate cards. Now when you're here, you show the two, and let's say you're going to take the two, you're going to put the two behind your back. All you got to do is flip over the two, show you got the three, and then you can show that the two was here the entire time. Now obviously you got a lot of evidence left over, 
Uh, so just obviously put this away and get straight into another trick. But anyway, guys, those are three different versions of the two Carmani, the trick that actually fooled the president. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And this is Card Shuffler 99. Peace out.